It was a pleasant day on the Woodhead line. The engines were pulling their trains as usual, but they were unusually jolly. Even John was jolly for once, and no, it wasn't because he finally had a girlfriend. Anyway, why were they jolly? We don't know. But let's check it out, shall we? <laughs> anyway, Tim, how's life on your branch line? Good for the most. The passenger runs are perfect. Even the goods duties are not so bad. There is a lot of shunting, but it's fine. On the day's work. That's a good engine. How about you two? Everything going like clockwork, I believe. Oh yes. With Stephen back, we can take more trains along the branch line and less along the main line. You prefer the branch? Yeah. Senior is more beautiful and it's much calmer. Huh. I've never been. Hello, engines. Sorry, Timothy. That hurt, you know. Anyway, as you know, the 139th anniversary is around the corner and everything so far is going as planned. A couple of famous engines and people will be visiting on that day. Amongst them, the Flying Scotsman and City of Truro. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing those two meet again. What do you mean, Edwin? As we all know, it is generally agreed that the Flying Scotsman was the first locomotive to reach 100 miles per hour. The Western people say different. They say City of Truro was the first. Nobody knows for sure, but those two could go late in the night just arguing about it. One thing is for sure though. And what would that be? Scotsman was the first recorded to hit 100, although there are loads of conspiracy theories as you'd imagine. I suppose you're right. <clears throat> anyway, I have a special announcement. There will be a special train departing from Sheffield on that day. Ten coaches long to be pulled by Edwin. If you don't mind me asking, why Edwin, sir? He hauled the first passenger train after the line reopened. Don't be jealous, Tim. You will be surrounded by photographers and enthusiasts all day. That's right. Now, Edwin, listen up. The train will be full of important people. You will be taking our maroon coaches. All right. Remember, don't get too cocky just because you got the special. Yes, sir. And with that, Mr. Salmon departed. Everything was going as planned. Soon, the day of the anniversary came along, and most of the engines were at Manchester talking to the visitors. So, I take it you're my replacement? Yes, that's me. So how's the yard? Oh, things are fine here. You had a good system when you left. Very efficient. Thanks. I arranged it myself. What about you, Dave? Everything alright? Eh, yeah, it's alright. No, I was the first to go 100 miles per hour. It was scientifically proven that it was me. Scientifically proven my tender. Shut it, youngster. I'm fine. What about you? Idiots. If I would race you right now, I would have won. Calm down, lads! I won't calm down until this puffed up westerner admits defeat. <sighs> I don't know why I bother. Meanwhile, Edwin was getting ready to take the train. He was resting quietly at the platform when Mr. Salmon walked up to him. All right, Edwin. All right, sir. Driver, is everything running smoothly? Uh, all good, sir. There is no backup on this one. Everything must go smoothly. Good luck. I understand, sir. Thanks. Mr. Salmon walked away, and Edwin started talking to his driver. <laughs> now, Edwin, don't get too cocky. I know, I know. It's not like I've never pulled passengers before. Edwin was soon off for this special train. He hurried along the line, desperate to impress. Stop lagging behind and move along, will you? Of course, of course Edwin. A few minutes later, he passed Peniston Station and he looked at the station clock. Do come along, do come along. We're behind already. Everything all right, driver? 
the driver leaned outside the cab, where he heard a strange noise. He leant back in, looking very worried. Edwin, there's a strange rattle coming from your left cylinder. Ooh, bother. Does anything ever go well? The same thing happened to Steven last year. It'll take more than a spare tender to get us out of this one. Oh, you two. The injector's not working. Edwin's driver took a look and gasped in horror. Oh, no. Drop my fire, will you? Your fire gate's jammed. We can't drop it. It's not my day, is it? Sorry, old boy. Stop being gentle and do something. I don't want to blow up. I know. We'll find a way to put your fire out. Edwin feared for his life. The driver shut off steam and went to apply the brakes, when suddenly, the farmer noticed something. Hang on, I think the injectors are working again. Your cylinder seems alright as well, Edwin. False alarm. Hurrah! Edwin's regulator was opened again, and they carried on towards Manchester. What's this? You've arrived earlier than expected. A record timing, my dear chap. What a great run. <laughs> More like a close run. Please, don't mention what happened to anyone, driver. <laughs> my lips are sealed. We will still have to check you over, mind you. The engines chuckled and continued talking. Soon, Mr. Salmon gave a speech, and later that evening a famous band played a concert. The Woodhead Line's 139th anniversary was a success, and the line was here to stay for many years to come.